at this point in our Wiffy Passive model, we could go any number of different directions. Obviously, there's still a lot of information that we would like to add. We haven't talked about assemblies at all, uh, window products. We haven't built out our shading. There's a whole bunch of places where we, we really just haven't defined enough information yet to, to build a complete Wolfie Passive model. So we can sort of jump into any of those topics or subjects. But I think what I'm going to propose is that we sort of follow Wolfie Passive's instructions. Um, if you're familiar with Wolfie Passive, you know that until it has enough data to execute a calculation, it'll sort of lead us by the nose through what it thinks are the sort of next critical sort of step that we might need. Um, and, and you can see that it sort of presents that to us uh, here on our uh, lower right panel where it says, okay, you know, here's the next thing that I, Wolfie Passive, think that I need from you in order to sort of calculate the energy balance of this building. Now, of course, we know that there's much more things, but, you know, as far as Wolfie's concerned, the next thing that it thinks it wants is something related to the mechanical ventilation capacity. What does that mean? That's kind of a weird way to say that. Basically, what it's saying is, okay, you guys have defined a bunch of rooms, and those rooms all have a designated fresh air ventilation flow associated with them. We haven't, we have not yet looked at how we set that, but by default, there's going to be some fresh air associated with every habitable space in the building. And so Wolfie understands that, but it says, what well, you haven't assigned any machine to those rooms. You have, you, you don't have a ventilation, a piece of ventilation equipment, which is going to be providing that fresh air. So we need to, or what it thinks we need to do next, is really turn our attention to the first piece of our mechanical systems, our mechanical systems. Uh, what it would like us to do is build out a fresh air ventilation system. So let's just briefly look at that, how that works in Woofy Passive, and then we'll go back to our Rhino scene and see how we're going to build up the same thing in Rhino. So I'm here in Woofy Passive in my, uh, in my little model that we've been building so far. And if you remember in the last lesson, we just looked at ventilation rooms here. And in rooms ventilation, we entered all the information about the different interior spaces. And I mentioned uh, that the volume flow rates, these volume flow rates for fresh air are assigned by default. Now we can of course control those and we can configure those to our heart's content for now. They're just going to be some default values based on a stock or default program that Honeybee is going to assign. So we've got some fresh air flow rates designated, but again, we don't have any equipment to actually supply this airflow. So what Wolfie Passive would like us to do is come down here to the systems portion. So in the systems portion, we've already got a ideal air system configured. And in the ideal air system, it would like us to add some fresh air ventilation equipment. So how would we do that in a normal Wolfie Passive model? Well, I would simply come over here to new. I would add a new, and I would select from the list here, mechanical ventilation. And mechanical ventilation would automatically get assigned to space ventilation. And then at this point, I could come down here to the actual piece of equipment itself. And I could go through and associate that equipment with each of the rooms, each of the Wolfie rooms that the equipment is serving. So I would come here and I would say, this equipment is serving all of these rooms, all of these uh, pieces here. We also need to input some specification equipment, notice down here, or some information, notice here, it says, um, you know, I need an electrical efficiency. So what am I, you know, what's my watts per CFM? Let's put in a number for now. Let's see if we can get things working. And there we go. So at this point, the only thing Wolfie thinks it needs is so, to recalculate shading. So we've given it enough information here for it to basically go off and calculate. Right, so here's our here's our ventilation equipment. It's got you know, zero percent heat recovery, zero percent moisture recovery, some sort of defaults over here, um, and then we've assigned it to supply the airflow to each of the rooms in our building. We could also give it a name up here, you know, I vent unit, uh, etc. Right, so that's how we would build that out in Woofy Passive. But of course, we don't want to do that in Woofy Passive. We want to do that back in our Rhino model. So how are we going to do all of this back in Rhino? Well, let's take a look. Let me go ahead and close this rid of this guy and we'll go back to our rhino scene so here's our rhino scene where we were working let me bring back our geometry here i'm just gonna turn off these guys bring back our geometry so we have our our geometry our windows and then in our last lesson we built out our interior floor plates there so how are we going to add this mechanical system again there's all sorts of ways place uh, uh, sort of pieces of the puzzle that we need to fill in, but let's take a look at the uh, basic fresh air mechanicals at this point. So here in my Honeybee PH ribbon, I have a whole section here dedicated to mechanical equipment or mechanical systems. 
systems. So mechanical systems, and basically mechanical systems can be thought of as being broken down into three different buckets. We're going to have heating systems, cooling systems, and fresh air ventilation systems. And then we can combine those all together to form what we might call a mechanical system for the building. These mechanical systems can be combined and assigned to different honeybee rooms as you like. So you can have multiple different systems in the same building being assigned to different honeybee rooms, and then that will flow through into the Woofy Passive model. Now in our version here, in our little building here, we uh, don't have anything like that. We just have a really simple, you know, maybe uh, uh, one, one, we could say that it's going to have one piece of equipment that's going to serve the whole building. So it's going to be a little simpler here. We're just going to assign one ERV to serve all of the honeybee rooms. And when we do that, it's going to automatically um, assign that ERV to all of the spaces within those honeybee rooms. So let's first of all give ourselves a little room here. So I'm going to come after spaces and before building segments, and I'm going to open up a little space here. And so we'll just make ourselves some room to assign our mechanical system. And as always, we'll kind of try and keep things tidy here. So we'll do a little setup, and we'll call this uh, mechanicals. So this will be our mechanicals. Now, how are the mechanicals going to work? They're going to work very similar to the way that spaces work. So if you remember when we built out spaces, we created spaces and then we assigned the spaces to honeybee rooms. So that same pattern is going to hold for mechanical systems. We're going to create mechanical systems and then apply those to one or more honeybee rooms. And we're going to do that using these components up here. So let's first take a look at how we're going to build our fresh air ventilation system. So we'll, we'll hold on to heating or cooling systems and heating systems. So we don't, we don't want to worry about these just yet. We'll, we'll get to those eventually. But right now, we want to take a look at this guy right here, this create ventilation system, a passive house ventilation system. So I'm going to grab this create passive house ventilation system and drop it onto the canvas. Now, what is this going to create by default? So this is going to create by default a passive house ventilation system. Um, it's going to be using an unnamed ventilator with no ducting. So notice here, no ducting. Um, it's going to have a default ventilator with 0% heat recovery, 0% moisture recovery, a pretty bad electrical efficiency, et cetera. Right? So, so out of the box, this thing is going to create a ventilation system for us. We don't have to do any other configuration. It's not a very good ventilation system, but it's a ventilation system at least. So we can go ahead and apply this right now to our model, and let's see what we let's see what we would get. So how do we then how do we now apply this ventilation system which has been created to the model? Well, we'll come up here, and where we see this guy here, where it says Add mechan Mechanical Systems, we're going to use that to add this new ventilation system to our Honeybee rooms. So I'm going to grab this component and drop this onto the canvas. And notice that this uh, component has a input for ventilation system, heating system, cooling system, and honeybee rooms. So it's going to take in honeybee rooms and then assign to those rooms whatever system you supply it. So where do I get the rooms from? Well, I'll just grab the rooms from here. So I'm going to grab these rooms and feed the rooms in. And before I assign anything, I'll just get everything hooked up. So I'm going to get, so notice I get honeybee rooms coming out. These are rooms with the new ventilation system assigned, or they will be once we assign them. So now this is a new link in our chain here. And to assign this ventilation system to these rooms, so room one, room two, all we have to do is grab this ventilation system and just input it like that. So this ventilation system now has now been applied to our honeybee rooms. And we can see that if we come over here to export and we just run our exporter one more time and let's open this up in Woofy and take a look at what that uh, has done for us. So let me go back to Woofy Passive. And I will navigate to my desktop, same as ever. We're just saving everything out to my desktop here. Obviously you could be saving it to a project folder or something and I'll open up the one with the latest timestamp. And there we go. And notice now, with this new file, we have a mechanical ventilation equipment, which has been assigned to our building. So we have this mechanical, switch over to pass bus verification. We have this new mechanical ventilation equipment, which has been assigned or built out into our model. Notice it's already been assigned to all of the individual spaces in the building. So each of those spaces within the honeybee room has been sort of tagged with this piece of mechanical equipment. Notice, of course, it has 0% heat recovery, 0% moisture recovery, pretty bad electrical efficiency, and it's been given a sort of default name here as well because we didn't provide a name or anything like that. 
But to build out a mechanical system, that's all we have to do. It's just tag it with a mechanical system, and this will uh, sort of configure everything. Now, what if we what if we only wanted to assign it to sort of some of these rooms? What if we had a you know one mechanical system for the upper story and a different one for the lower story? Well, we could do that quite simply by just segmenting or filtering, breaking apart our rooms. So, for instance, I could take an explode component. I could say explode tree, and I could break up this list. Right. So this is just a list of two honeybee rooms. I could. If I right click here, I could choose graft, and now I'm getting one room on the first path and one room oops, on the second path. So I've split my rooms apart, and I could say, um, you know, I only want to assign this ventilation system to these rooms. So now this ventilation system is only being assigned to, brings back to room number one. And then I could merge these things back together afterwards. So I broke the rooms apart. I made a modification to one of the rooms. And then I merged them back together. And then I passed that along. And what would happen when we do that? Oops, we should flatten that. I guess it doesn't really matter. But just to be tidy, we'll flatten that. What would, what, what's going to happen when I do that if I write that out? Right, so we assigned, in this case, we assigned the mechanical ventilation system to only one of our honeybee rooms. Go back to Woofy. We will go back to our desktop. There we go. And let's see what happens to the configuration of our ventilation system. I'll come down here to my ventilation system. Notice here in this case that this ventilator has now only been applied to the to the spaces which were in room one. And all of the spaces that were in room two have not been assigned to the, this mechanical ventilation equipment. So we can I don't know why I have two of these open. So we can, oops, I guess, so, well, anyway, <laughs> sorry. Uh, stop it. Go away. Uh, so in that fashion, though, we can assign these spaces in whatever sort of level of detail or, or whatever configuration we want. Now, we don't want to do that here, right? So I'm going to go ahead and delete all this. Uh, in this case, we want to just apply the same ventilator to all of the spaces and rooms in our building. So that's fine. So we'll just pass it that way. We'll pass both rooms in, both rooms come out, both rooms get assigned that ventilation system. Now we should give it some more information though. So let's give it a little bit of information. First of all, let's um, give it a system type. So what type of system type can we apply? A balanced uh, ventilation, extract air, window ventilation. This isn't actually going to matter much for Woofy. This is really more for PHPP. But just to be consistent, we can come up here and we can grab this ERV uh, vent type dropdown. And we can say that this is going to be a balanced ventilation system with heat recovery. Uh, we could also give it a name. We could call it Ed's First Vent System. And yeah, we'll do that. Give it a name. And then we could uh, build out some ducting and some um, a ventilation unit. Uh, for now, um, let's take a look at the ventilation unit, because that's going to be the, the main thing that we will want to sort of set the specifications and parameters for. So we're going to do that here using this vent unit component. So I've got a new component in my mechanical section, uh, which I'm going to use to build a ventilation unit. So what do I get by default from this component? Well, this component is going to yield to me a ventilator. It's going to have a standard uh, heat recovery of 75%, an electrical efficiency of 0.45 watt hours per cubic meter, um, and some other sort of specs there. So this unit, this vent unit, can now be passed to our vent system. So this piece of equipment is now part of our vent system, which is then applied to all of our honeybee rooms. And of course, we could come in and we could configure this however we like. Now, for our project here, we do have some specifications. So if I go back to our source files, go to specs, we, I think we do, yeah. So we have a spec here for the ERV. Let me bring that up. And this uh, product is spec'd, uh, spec'd out as a Zender Comfo Air Q600 ERV, which is a very common in North American passive house projects to use these high performance Zender systems. Um, so this uh, unit here, this Q600, is a very nice unit. Um, you can see here some of the important specifications. This is just a, you know, submittal sheet for, for this uh, product. You can see here that it has a heat recovery rate, an electrical efficiency, and a humidity recovery. So this data can now get entered into our, oops, this data can now get entered into our Woofy model. Right, so if I come in here and we'll call this, so we'll give this some information, we'll call this um, Zender 
Comfo Air Q600 ERV. So that'll be uh, the name of our vent unit. It had a sensible recovery of 80%, so a sensible recovery of 80%, and a humidity recovery of 68%, I believe. We'll check that. Go back to our PDF here. Uh, humidity recovery, 68%, yeah. So 68%, so we'll give that to the latent efficiency. And then the other item here that we were kind of that matters is this electrical efficiency. Let's just go back to our spec for a sec. Uh, the electrical efficiency, 0 0.22 watt hours per cubic meter. So 0 0.22 watt hours per cubic meter. So that'll be our electrical efficiency. So we've now built out our Zender Comfo Air. We've assigned it to our ventilation system. And if you notice over here, the vent system now has this new ventilator showing up, the Zender Comfo Air 350 with heat recovery of 80%, latent recovery of 68, and our electrical efficiency. So that's now flowing through. So what will happen now, let me come over to my export and we'll re-export this project. We will write this out to a Woofy file again. And I'll do, as always, come here to Woofy Passive. It will go file, open, navigate to the desktop, and let's see if all that came through properly. So I'm here in my file, we'll go to passphouse verification, we'll come down here to our system, and notice it is already popping up as the Zender Comfo Air Q600, so that's flowing through. Here's our 80% flows through, 68%, and here's our electrical efficiency, wasn't, wasn't it 0.22? Notice here it's watts per CFM, so that's been converted over correctly. So that's been converted over into IP units. If we were to come up here and go to Options, General, shift over to SI units, you should see that as 0 0.22, right? So we're just seeing it in a different unit system is all. And notice it has been assigned to all of our spaces, so all of our spaces here uh, now have our unit assigned to them. Alrighty. So we now have a functioning ERV as part of our system. Uh, Woofy Passive is quite a bit happier. We know that it's happier because it says, okay, I think I know everything I need. All I need to do is recalculate shading, and then I can give you some results. So let's do that. Let's calculate our shading really quickly, and let's take a look at the first batch of results that we're going to get from Woofy Passive. And to do that, all I have to do is click this Calculate Shading button, and it will only take a second, and I will be presented with, well, some crazy information. We've got a really high heating demand. We've got a bunch of red X's. My source energy is coming in as infinity. So, okay, so, so things are still not correct here. This is not, this is not, these are results, but uh, these are not correct results. Um, there are a whole bunch of really important pieces of the puzzle here that we have not yet built out. Um, in particular, I think in the next lesson, we should t we should tackle this piece here. Why is this coming up as infinity kilowatts per person? Um, the short answer is we have not yet specified the occupancy of the building. So I think we should take a look at that in our next uh, 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 video and, and see how we specify things like occupancy and internal loads from appliances really kind of round out the interior uh, portion of this building uh, before we start taking a look at the, the actual results. In any event, we have now built out our ventilation system, so hopefully that is all working for you. Hopefully that all makes sense. The tools, of course, allow you to build out really complicated ventilation systems. This is just a sort of really simple, straightforward one. Um, they can become quite, quite complex when you have more than one ventilator uh, operating in the building, you know, serving different zones. Um, but if it's a nice, simple building like this, then it's really quite straightforward. You just tag everything with the data that you want. All right, so I think we'll leave it there, and I will see you back in the next video where we will, as I said, take a look at the interior occupancy, um, the appliance usage, and try and hand, get a handle on why this is coming up as infinity kilowatts, kilowatt hours per person.